Hello, Jeff Clark here again, and we're talking about the Energy Star Survey, the Excel spreadsheet, how to use it, and tips and tricks for doing so. So first thing, of course, you want to make sure you go to the website, rfmaonline.com slash survey. And once you're there, you can actually go down to, uh, after you've gone through the content guide, you can begin the spreadsheet survey here that'll take you to a web page that looks like this. Please, please read all the information here. This is very important. You can click here to download the Excel spreadsheet. Now, when you do that, it's going to um, download it for you. You can save the file, which I would recommend. Once it's downloaded, and you click here, you, you can open the, the Excel spreadsheet but one thing you might notice is um, we have the new one downloaded here. See this protected view files originated from the internet? Just click enable editing. That'll be, allow you to start editing the actual um, Excel spreadsheet. And the very first thing I would highly recommend everyone does is save this thing. Save it on a location that you will be able to access again very quickly and keep saving often so that you don't lose your work. Once you've saved that, I've um, developed here a little quick test survey. It's pretty straightforward. You have the different worksheets here, contact information, characteristics, floor area. Again, these correspond to the information that you're going to need to get from the content uh, guide here. Okay, so you want to make sure that all this information is pulled together first before you start filling in the survey. Let's say you've done that, you've gone through, and now you're here at the Excel spreadsheet. So, a couple tips and tricks. Number one, these little tiny red corner things here are actually notes, and that'll help you work through the survey and get all the instructions that you're um, going to want and need, and these are really important. I would really uh, hover over this, and I'm literally just hovering my mouse over that little red um, corner there. And you'll notice they're all, all over this entire spreadsheet. The second thing I'd recommend is actually before filling in all of these different contact info characteristics, etc., I would begin by starting on the end and working your way back. And the reason why I say that is there's a couple tips and tricks that you can do that'll speed up the process for you, especially if you're doing this manually. If you're just copying and pasting information in, you don't necessarily need to do this, but I think it'll save a lot of time. So for those of you who haven't used Excel very often, here's a couple little things that you should know. One, there are a number of drop-down menus here. So this is under the uh, Energy Summary Survey. I've just added some dummy data. This means absolutely nothing. I literally just put it in. One thing you can do, even with drop-down information here, so um, on-grid electricity purchases, for example, if I know I have a bunch of these I need to put down further, and let's say I have you know, other test locations, test two, test three, and I know both of these have, for example, energy electric grid purchases, I can copy that highlight the two or three places or even more than I need to and then press paste it will allow me to paste that information further down in the Excel spreadsheet. I can do the same thing with any of these drop down menus or for example if I know I have the same billing period for all of these I can copy highlight and then paste. So what I would personally do is collect all the information that you have all the utility bills for each of your locations. You're going to have multiple meter IDs for each restaurant location because you probably have a natural gas provider and a very different electricity provider and they're going to have different meters. If you want to do water, which we definitely appreciate, that'll again have a different meter. If you have a solar panel or some other on-site generation, that'll have a third or fourth meter. So these need to be divided up by line. So once you fill this in, uh, what I would suggest is you'll notice that the energy detail and the water summary, at least for the property name, are going to be very, very similar to your energy summary. So if you start with this, we can fill some of this information in and then take that back to the other worksheets and fill that in as well. So 
looking back here we have property name and meter ID are the same as these two here so why don't we just highlight them all uh, go back to the home copy go to the new detail paste back to the summary now you've noticed fuel type and unit of um, measurement are not included on this so we're gonna skip those we then go to the periods here copy take it over and then again at the top of the first uh, one to the left that you want and paste now if we know again that these are the same we can copy control C and then highlight all the ones that we want paste you'll get the same so what about consumption amount well you have to add up all 12 months worth of consumption so if you have all your bills together uh, and you're entering it manually I would suggest the following equals that creates a equation and then you can start entering your data so you can say uh, let's say the first bill is 123 kilowatt hours plus uh, February is 200 plus March is uh, 129 etc 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 once you have all 12 in there if you press enter that will sum all of the information up and you can do that for each one of these again if you're not able to have it already done in Excel spreadsheet this is a nice way to do that so why did I say to do this first well here's a nice little trick that we can use for taking the information we've already included and bringing it back to the beginning so we don't have to redo it so here's the main point all of the energy summary detail water summary detail has multiple lines for each restaurant location because you might have multiple meters for each restaurant location but at the beginning under contact info and all of the other worksheets each individual row each line is one restaurant so how can we take this information we've already put in and use it well here's a nice little trick you're gonna highlight all of the restaurants here that you have you're going to copy it notice that it's um, copied here with the dashed lines you're gonna go all the way back to the beginning to contact info now I already entered some dummy stuff but we'll just copy over it or paste over it so I'm gonna click on that click paste now we have multiple restaurants that are copied here on this one line so how do we get rid of those well here's a nice little trick we can highlight this go to the data window then come over here to remove duplicates click on that we're gonna continue with our current selection and click remove duplicates it's just gonna say we want column A yes we do and done it removed all of those notice that this has changed the formatting you can either leave it which is fine or if you go back to the home page this is called a format painter click on that highlight the rest and now it's all the same so what did that do for us well it saved us a from typing everything all over again but B we now have this all set up and ready to go now if you have for example not entered any information here and everything you have is ordered alphabetically we can also change that as well you go to sort and filter sort A to Z I do not want to expand the section that that would take on other columns I want to just do column A click now we have it sorted by alphabetical order that just keeps everything easy and lined up and reduces the amount of work we need to do so last but not least one thing we do want to demonstrate and show is that when you get to the kitchen and other equipment for example fill in a zero for something you do not have so just quickly going through this um, how many linear feet 10 if you don't have a kitchen exhaust hood for example you'd put zero uh, under broilers char broilers if you don't have any put zero over boilers put one etc etc and hopefully um, this can go pretty quickly once you get the knack of it hopefully this answers some of your questions gives you a couple tips and tricks with which to make this more efficient and as always please send any questions to the following email address best of luck and uh, we hope that you got a lot out of the screencasts and uh, we love any feedback that you have